This is the symmetry tutorial. In geometry, there are two types of symmetry that we're going to discuss. The first is rotational symmetry. Now, the definition of rotational symmetry is if a figure can be rotated about a point by an angle greater than 0 degrees and less than 360 degrees so that it coincides with the pre image, then it has rotational symmetry. So, let's take a look at an image on this graph. I'm going to draw in the square WXYZ. Now, in order to determine whether or not this square has rotational symmetry, we want to see if we could spin it about its center point in such a way that the new image, the pre-image, would overlap with the original image. So, if the center of this square were about here, and you were to rotate it, would it ever look just like it does now? Now, the, the points of the corners, W, X, Y, and Z, may be in different locations, but would the image itself look the way it looks now? Well, yeah, I can see a way that I could rotate it. I could rotate this square 90 degrees, meaning I could basically turn it on its side. So, let's imagine that it's sitting on a table, and here's the table that it's sitting on, and let's imagine it's just a little blue block. Now, what if I were to turn it clockwise on its side, so I were to roll it over but keep it in the same position where it is now? Well, if I turned it on its side so that X was now here on the bottom and Z were over here, it would look just like it looks now. It would be this square, WXYZ still, but now it would be turned on its side sitting on that tabletop plateau. And you could turn it four times. You could keep rotating this square 90 degrees, setting it back down on the table exactly where you picked it up, and it would still look at the silhouette like this. The silhouette would still look the same. That's rotational symmetry. I'm keeping the center right where it's always been, and I'm just rotating the figure about it. And when the figure, the new image of it, looks exactly the same as the original image, then it has rotational symmetry. Let me show you an example of a figure that doesn't have rotational symmetry. Let's take a look at the triangle, triangle ABC. Now again, imagine that we were looking at the center of the triangle, and I'll draw it right about there. And imagine that that triangle were sitting on a tabletop, right here. Now, what if I flip the triangle 180 degrees, so flipped it over? A would be here, Point B would be right here, and point C would be down here on the line. And triangle ABC would look like this. You'll notice that that new image, the pre-image, doesn't overlap identically with the original image, triangle ABC. There's no way that you could rotate this original triangle ABC about that center and get it to overlap so that it coincides with the original image. It's not possible. So, this figure doesn't have rotational symmetry. Now, the other type of symmetry that we want to talk about in geometry is line symmetry. The definition of line symmetry is it's an imaginary line, also called an axis, that divides a figure into two congruent halves. Each half can then be reflected across the line of symmetry so that the image coincides with the pre-image. So, let me show you an example of that. Here's our graph. And here's our image. This image looks kind of like an hourglass. Now, could you draw an imaginary line somewhere that would divide this figure into two congruent halves so that each one could be reflected across the line of symmetry so that its image would coincide with the pre-image? Well, let's take a look at a couple lines that you might be able to draw. Let's first draw a line vertically down the center of this image. Now, if you took this line right down the center and you folded that image, so you folded each piece over as if it were a sheet of paper, you'd notice that this image would reflect right on top of itself. So, this figure has symmetry along the y-axis, along this imaginary line right here. Now, let's try another line. What if you were to fold the figure along this line? so that the top half would fold down to the bottom half, or vice versa. Well, the top half would lie right on top of the bottom half. And in doing so, 
it would have horizontal symmetry. We could draw a x-axis line right here straight across and the figure would flip directly over that to have line symmetry. Now I can't see any other lines that you could draw where this figure would be able to reflect across it so that the image coincides with the pre-image. So the figure has two lines of symmetry, that vertical line that we originally saw and the second line which was horizontal. So those are the two types of symmetry in geometry. And in dealing with both of those types of symmetry, you really have to be able to eyeball the figure and see these lines of symmetry for it, whether or not it could be rotated about the center or folded across a line so that the image coincides with the pre-image.